Hello and welcome to another episode here on the War of the Rebellion channel. Today we are going to start a new series where we are going to explore material I covered in my book Liberty and Slavery published by Alice U Press. In the series we are going to look at a number of individuals, migrants from Austria, Hungary, Poland, Germany and Ireland and how they experienced European revolutionary events, how they came to the United States and witnessed the war of the rebellion and in a few cases also what they did after the war of the rebellion. Born in September of 1805, Adam Gorovsky was raised in Russian Poland. Poland briefly existed during his early years as an independent state, but the Vienna Congress of 1815 restored it to Russian rule. And that Russian rule in 1830 brought about a revolution in Poland. Unfortunately, we do not know much about Gorowski's early years. He certainly was upset about military setbacks suffered by the Polish arms in 1830 and 1831. And we know that he likely participated in protests with the failure of the Polish rebellion. Gorowski did not come to the United States like a number of failed revolutionaries of 1830. He instead went to Paris, the hotbed of revolution, and joined the Polish Revolutionary Committee. But then he turned. He embraced Pan-Slavism, reconciled with the Tsar, and even got a job in the Tsarist Russian government in St. Petersburg. But as a person that constantly changes colors, his Pan-Slavism and support for the Russian monarchy didn't last long either. He eventually broke ties with the Tsar. In 1844, suggested that peasant communes were the way of the future, that the Russian state should end serfdom. A lot of suggestions he makes that go counter to what the Russian state stands for. As a result, He's kicked out of Russia. Twice now. He really went for the Russians. Even though the Tsar was trying to give him asylum. Make things good. In his new exile, he goes to Switzerland. There he encounters Mazzini, Giuseppe Mazzini, the founder of the new nationalism movements in Europe, the young generation that is trying to create new liberal minded nation states. He is soaking that information in, but he does realize that the future of his and of Poland is not to be in Europe. As a result, in 1849 he decides to migrate to the United States. If these brief episodes sparked your interest about the individuals covered, please consider not only subscribing and liking this channel, 
commenting on this episode, but also looking into purchasing my book, Liberty and Slavery, published by LSU Press. <laughs>